So I want to show you how to prepare an Illustrator file to upload to the laser cutter so you can cut out some hand-drawn shapes. First thing you need to do is set up your Illustrator file correctly. So File, New, and then we want to set up an A3 document. We want to make sure it's in landscape. You also need to check that the color mode, you also need to check in advanced open it and check that the color mode is set to RGB. Now we've got an exclamation mark here so we need to change some other things in our document as well. Click OK. So I have an A3 document ready to go. I need to go File, Document Color Mode, check that that is RGB color. Then we're going to go to the side over here and find color which is here and check that this is in RGB. So we should be pretty good. RGB. Um, we should be pretty good now with our drawing. Um, to make things easier for myself, sometimes I find it an advantage to scan an image and then upload it or place it into my Illustrator document to trace. So I'm going to do a demonstration of that now. Go to File, Place, find the images that you wish to trace and place them into your Illustrator document. Remembering this is an A3 page, they don't need to be massive, but you may wish to make them a reasonable size. So I'm going to work on this frog right here. I'm going to open my Layers palette. There's two ways I can open my Layers palette. Over here on the right, I can click Layers. Or I can go to Window and click Layers here. Either way, layers are open. I need to rename this layer and call it Scan. Push Enter. Deselect by clicking anywhere else on your page. Add a new layer. Call Layer 2 Outline. For the laser to cut, effectively or the information that you're sending to the laser cutter enable the laser cutter to cut effectively you need to give the laser cutter a continuous single line which it can cut if you've got other lines for instance in the frog here I have other detail like the eyeballs and the mouth and the stomach they needed to be added separately so we're going to work on this outline layer and I'm there's a couple of ways you can approach it. I can use the pen tool to freehand draw all the way around my frog, which is okay, can take me some time. I can go back and do some adjustments. And you can see as I bring my pen back to the beginning, another circle appears at the bottom right of the pen. And that indicates that I've reached, I've joined my shape into a complete shape. Um, if you're not totally happy with what's going on here, you can edit this to some degree. Click on the direct selection tool. Zoom into an area that you wish to edit. Click on the point that you wish to add, edit and you can pull it out. Now mine's quite angular so I can click on this here and it will curve it slightly and I can do that a number of times to smooth my edges. So anything that looks a little bit too angular I can smooth. I can also use the direct selection to directly hit on one of these anchor points and move the anchor point so I'm happier with its position but you need to make sure you select the anchor point before you try and move it otherwise you're just drawing moving the whole outline so I've worked on that small section there let's scroll down a little bit further and see what else we can smooth out so this one could do with a smooth and this one
Now you can see I have my frog here. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I've got to make a few changes. So I go back to the selection tool and I click on it and I need to change the fill to no fill. That means I've just got an outline. I need to change my cutting line where I want the laser to cut to an RGB red. So I'm making sure that I have my stroke selected and in these boxes here I can put in my RGB red which is 255 zero and zero. Click OK and you can see I've got a nice red line around here. You can do further changes if you want to but I'm pretty happy with how my frog looks. Now the stroke weight needs to be changed as well. The laser cutter needs a 0 0.001 stroke weight. Very fine, you'd hardly see it at all. So if I go back to my layers now and turn off the scan layer, you can see I have the outline of the frog and that's the shape that will be cut on the laser cutter. I'm going to turn the scan back on again. This time I want to draw the other detail and this detail will be etched onto the surface of the material so the laser cutter won't cut all the way through, it will just etch onto the surface. So I'm going to change my stroke in this instance to RGB black and you can see here it's CKMY so I'm going to double click on my stroke and I'm going to change it to 0 R0, G0, B0 and that should give me a black. So now I'm going to use the circle tool or the ellipse tool and I'm going to draw an ellipse here and you can see it has no fill and it has my black and then I'm going to draw another ellipse over here. I'm going to go back with my direct selection tool and once I've clicked on the point, I can move that point to wherever I want it to be. So there we have one eye traced. Go to the other eye. And there's the second eye traced. Now I'm going to put the little black dots in. So I need to deselect that eye, go to the ellipse tool again, put my little black dots in. Um, I'm going to zoom right in on my eye so I can see what's going on. Direct selection tool. I want this one here. This one I'm going to move up here. And I want to add a fill to this, so I'm going to double click on the fill and make sure I have RGB 000. OK. Try again. 0, 0, 0. OK. And my fill is black. I'm going to zoom out, go to the other eye, and zoom in. ellipse tool. I've still got my fill so hopefully I won't have to do so much editing and that one's great. So now I'm going to view, uh, fit all in window, zoom to my frog, deselect my eye. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm okay with the dots here, the size of those. I think I'm going to thicken these lines up though because that's one point thick and I think when I etch them I'd like them to be two points and I'll do the same for this eye here and make that two points. I'm going to happy with my fill on no fill. So I want to go deselect that eye, go back to the pen tool and I'm going to draw the frog's smile. So using my pen tool There's the smile across there. Deselect 
pen tool and we're going to draw the little dimple across here. Deselect and choose the pen tool and do the same on the other side. Deselect. So I've got my frog, I've got my eyes. Um, I just need to draw the rest of this line on the belly here. So back to the pen tool. So checking on my layers again, I should have all my drawing on the outline layer and the scan should be the only thing on that layer there. So I'm going to delete the scan layer. I no longer need that. I'm going to zoom in on some of the areas and make some adjustments like this part here I wanted to bring these ends right down to the edge here so direct selection tool click on the point and then pull it down so it joins on there direct selection click on the point pull it down here just gonna give this a bit more of a curve make it a little smoother that looks good to me um, we'll now go to the top and look at his smile uh, with the selection tool I'm going to select the end of the smile and just overlap it on there and this one direct selection I'm going to select on here I want to add a curve a bit more of a curve there back to the selection tool and I'm just going to move it just here um, zooming out again that drawing now should be fantastic for the laser cutter so we have our complete outline that's in 0 0.001 we check the color is RGB 22 sorry 25500 that's all great then we can check our outline here 0, 0, 0, and they should all be the same, and those weights should be good to go.